How would your pickleball game change if you could hit a third shot as consistently as pro player Dave the Badger Weinbach? Silly question, right? Would you like to know what he says are the four essentials in a consistent third shot? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. Welcome to Better Pickleball, where we focus on helping players over 50 live their best lives on and off the pickleball courts. If you'd like to join us for a free seven day workout challenge to help you get back out on the pickleball courts healthy and fit, click the link in the show notes below. Recently, Dave the Badger Weinbach stopped by the Better Pickleball channel. Of course, we needed to talk about third shot since he hits that so consistently. Everybody wants to know how he does it. Here's what he had to say. The four key things you need to do to develop a consistent drop shot. I talk about, you know, in my lessons in my clinics, I talk about how the third shot, in my opinion, is the most important shot in all of pickleball because that's the shot that enables you and your partner to get from the baseline to the kitchen line where you need to be to play winning pickleball. So, you know, the third shot drop gets obviously a lot of attention, but a, lot, a trend that we're seeing and have been seeing for really two years now is the third shot drive for the third shot and then leading to a potential fifth shot drop. So let's talk about the drop shot first, because in my opinion, it's not only the most important shot, it's by far the most difficult shot that players of all levels struggle with this. Even the 5-0 players, they struggle with their third shot drop because it's the hardest shot. So I tell people in my lessons and clinics, I say, I'm not going to make this shot easy for you, but I'm going to make it easier if you just follow four key principles. Number one, after you serve, I want people to get behind the baseline. So when they hit their third shot drop, their momentum is going forward. Momentum forward. Okay. Because if you fall away on your third shot, okay, first of all, you're going to be really slow getting to the kitchen line. And second of all, when you fall away on any shot in pickleball, what happens? You lose power, you lose control, and you're totally out of position, and you're going to have very little consistency, okay? Second big thing we talk about is grip pressure on the paddle. On a third shot drop, or any soft shot you hit in pickleball for that matter, whether it's a dink or a third shot drop, I need you to have light grip pressure. If you grip the paddle too tight, what happens is you lose feel, you lose control, you lose sensitivity on the face of the paddle. So in grip pressure on a third shot drop, I want people to be like a three to four out of 10, okay? Which sounds ridiculous to people when they first hear that, okay? But just try it next time you go to the courts to have that lighter grip pressure. It's going to feel like the ball's on your paddle longer. And that's what gives you the superior feel and control. The third thing, which seems obvious, but people don't do it on the third shot drop is, the motion needs to be a low to high motion. Low to high motion to create that loft. Okay? Too many people, they hit their third shots they drive it in hard and they aim like a ball or two balls over the net. And that's their idea of a third shot drop. <laughs> and they wonder why they hit so many in the net and they don't give enough respect to the net. Okay. So remember low to high. A fourth key thing that I talk about a lot on the third shot drop is has to do with the location of the apex of the ball flight. Okay, we all know that apex means the highest point of the ball flight. So I want the highest point of the ball flight, the apex of the ball, 
to be just inside of my own kitchen line by about, you know, six to seven inches inside of your own kitchen. That's the highest point of the ball flight, what we call the apex. And the ball starts to lose speed. And by the time the ball gets over the net, it's lost 80 to 85% of its pace. And then we all know it comes down like a rock. Okay. So those are the four key things that are make the third shot a lot easier for you. If you'd like a little bit more help with the third shot, we've got you covered. Click on that playlist over there. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your pickleball playing friends. Because together, we can train smart, live bold, and age well.